very important for us because we're just waiting for the irrepressible and inimitable Mr. Johnny Beatty. Come on, Johnny. That's it. Come. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. How nice to be here in Glam's Cat with all your friends. Are you going to help us tonight to sing and dance our way right into 1994? Aren't you? Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. We've got all kinds of wonderful dancers, the dashing white stars at the Eighth Summer Reel, the Gay Garden. Of course, we don't call it the Gay Garden now, it's the Jolly Garden, we call it. <laughs> but tonight it's live music, not a karaoke machine in sight. And you all know what karaoke is. That's Japanese for the band, hasn't it, turned up? But it's what, this, is, this is a time, isn't it? A time for a new start and a new beginning. Like the old boy says to his wife, he says, you know, darling, when I shave in the morning, I feel 20 years younger. She says, I wish to God you'd shave at night. <laughs> but all over Scotland, just now at this very moment, hug my knee, the, the countdown starts. But it's serious. The countdown in Glasgow is really serious, you know. Now, let's see that. Six dozen cans of lager, three dozen cans of export. Well, that should last us to the morning, I think so, yes. And it's marvellous, but as long as you don't, if Emmy's going to be drinking, please do not drive. Don't drink and drive, because you'll spill it. Don't do it, you know. <laughs> but seriously, don't do it. Like the boy driving back from a, from a big party last, last new year there, and he's all over the rain, and the, oh, the rain in the road puddles, and he's hitting one pavement and then the other, going the wrong way up a one-way street. The policeman stopped me, she says, excuse me, where are you going? He says, I don't know, but it can't be up too much, you're all coming back there. <laughs> He said, it's a one-way street. He said, I'm only going the one way. He says, didn't you see the arrows? He said, I didn't even see the Indians. <laughs> and the policeman asked that question they always ask. You're sitting in the car. Are, are you the driver of this car? He says, well, it's automatic, but I've got to be here. <laughs> the policeman says, you think you're a clever guy? He says, well, I'm not standing out there in a puddle. <laughs> And people get sent to medal at this time. They look back in the year, you know, maybe an unhappy year again for the royal family. Although Princess Diane did make the gesture. She bought Prince Charles a nice Christmas present, a video, Home Alone 2. <laughs> and politicians in news, Virginia Bottomley, she caused a furor because she had Marks and Spencer open the shop before trading hours so she could shop and not be the public. And next year, Oddbins are doing the same thing for Oliver Reed. <laughs> But this is a lovely time of the year, it really is. I mean, everybody's going to enjoy themselves. And, and the things that are happening, I mean, it's incredible, you know, that the, these astronauts up there, you know, fixing the Hubble telescope. What technology? They sent astronauts up with tiling experience to put new panels on the side of the telescope. They sent glazers up, glazing to, to put new solar panels. They sent plumbers up a month previous to put a notice on the door, sorry we called, but you were out. <laughs> And they were asked to put new infrared lens on the camera with very strong magnification to try and locate legendary historic places on Earth. One was going to be focused on the Atlantic to see if they could come up with the, the, the legendary lost city of Atlantis. One was going to be in the Amazonian jungle to try and discover the fabled city of El Dorado. And one was going to be zooming in canvas Lang to see if he could find a new Celtic stadium. <laughs> But it's wonderful at this time of year, and especially for the old people, you know, it's marvellous, you know, that the old boy goes into the nursing home, you know, and he, he's a wee bit kind of frustrated, not much happening in conversation. He says, I'll get things going here, and he crossed the lounge the first night. She says, this old boy, hey, you, you, how old do you think I'm? He says, hey, 77, he says, I'm 85. He says to that old boy, how old do you think I'm? He says, 73, she's I'm 85. He said to this old lady, how old do you think I'm? She says, come in a wee bit closer, son. She grabbed him, threw him in the carpet, made passionate love to him for about half an hour. That's how long it took. <laughs> then they come up for air. She says, you're 85. <laughs> he says, how do you know? She says, I heard you telling these other two books. <laughs> But you know, when these astronauts were up there looking at the Hubble telescope, they could see the weather down here on Earth before we even got it. You wonder why they come back, don't you? They can tell when a storm's coming, and tonight we have a storm coming in the nicest possible way. She is a star of many musicals, a lovely lady, a lovely voice. A joy to introduce, Rebecca Storm. Introduce, Rebecca Storm. <laughs> 